Hey there, I'm Tar Alsford and you're watching a review of the Other Brothers Bear Mini. What is up, you beautiful people? My name is Tara Lunsford, and welcome back to another Magic Trick Review here on the channel. If you're new here, then definitely consider subscribing and take a look at the channel my past reviews. Now, today we're going to be looking at Bear Mini by the Other Brothers. Now, if you don't know about Bear Mini, it's actually a second version of the original Bear that came out, I believe, in 2017, so a few years ago, a couple years ago, and it's actually. I really like this new and improved version. There is some slight changes that I think really make a big difference, and let's go ahead and get into the video right now. Well, one more thing before this video does get started. I do want to mention that you can check out Mystique Factory's daily deals that they have going down right now on their website. The links will be in the description. And also use code TYLER10 at checkout to save 10% off of your first order with Mystique Factory. So yeah, go ahead and save some money, buy some magic, and I'm not getting any of that money. That 10% does not go to me. It really is just me trying to help you guys out. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the review right now. First off, let's start out by talking about what actually is Bear Mini. Well, this is the sequel to Bear, the original trait that came out in 2017. Now, what you're going to be able to do with this is you, this allows you to reveal anything on a spectator's hand. You can reveal cards, numbers, star signs, drawings, and this new mini version includes a mini Sharpie and a little canister to carry around the stuff that you actually want to sprinkle on the audience's hand. Now, what do, you, what do I mean by sprinkle stuff on their hands? Well, what I'm talking about is the pepper or like the salt that you'll be using because this is an effect where where you reveal something on a spectator's hand or like your hand if you want to, what you do is you sprinkle some type of powder. It could be like coffee, grains maybe. It could be like salt, pepper, uh, just sugar, anything like that, similar in that texture and I don't know, graininess maybe. But then once you sprinkle it on your spectator's hand, you can either reveal these initials or whatnot or like cards like I already mentioned. And then you can just rub it away if you really want to and there's no residue left on the spectator's hands. Now this is a utility gimmick that allows you to stamp your spectators with a sign or with an initial in real time and you can make the stamp in real time which is really neat but let's go ahead and get into an in-depth review of bear mini in order to do that we need to talk about what actually we'll be receiving if you purchase bear mini we will be receiving this box right here and inside of this box are these two things you'll be getting this mini sharpie which is actually your gimmick with the bear ink inside of it you also get this canister which does not have the bear mini logo which i thought it was going to have because i I really thought I saw that in a picture. Maybe I'm wrong, but I thought this was gonna have the Bear Mini logo. Honestly, kind of glad it doesn't though, because it makes it look less suspicious. It really is just a normal canister. There's nothing inside of it, but you can put like your salt, sugar, coffee grounds, like whatever you want to put in here that you're gonna be revealing on the spectators arm, which I think is really helpful. This is so much better than carrying around like a salt or pepper shaker. Like honestly, good job for putting this in here along with a gimmick that is on a keychain. You can just basically carry around your keys and do this effect whenever. So it's basically impromptu once you put this on your key ring or whatnot. So, which I found really awesome. You also get an online video that's about 35 minutes long. You can stream it. It's You're gonna be learning how to actually perform the effect and some different handlings and stuff like that, how to take care of your gimmick. Now, one thing I will say is, I'm pretty sure this is the exact same tutorial that was the same tutorial for Bear, the original Bear. Now, even though you're getting the old tutorial for the original Bear, you're not missing out on anything really. You're getting all the original stuff that came with Bear and you get a PDF that teaches you kind of like a, a, a newish handling that you can use with the bear gimmick and a new routine kind of. So I did appreciate the PDF and honestly not too much of a big deal they included the old tutorial but definitely would have liked to see an updated video that maybe just talked a little bit about uh, how they just decided to come up with this or maybe some different things you could do with this new bear mini. But it, nonetheless still a good tutorial. Is this examinable? Well, kind of the ankle that's on the back of their hand, yes, totally examinable because they can rub it away and they're not gonna really get any residue. It's just gonna be the pepper that they really feel or the sugar, whatever you're using to sprinkle in the back of their hand. So the drawing, yes, examinable. Their hand, examinable. But the Sharpie itself, not examinable because then they would find the ink on how you did the effect. So as long as they don't examine the, the mini Sharpie that you have, you're good to go and examinability is pretty much covered besides the Sharpie. How are the angles for Bear Mini? Well, they're okay. The only reason I say okay is because if you're making the stamp in real time, you can't let them see the tip of the Sharpie. So just be careful about how you're writing and stuff like that. So for the best results, I keep my audience like in this direction. I wouldn't really let them be behind me because then they can see you writing with this this pen that's not writing Sharpie ink, which might be a little weird if they see that. So yeah, just, I'd keep my audience in front of me for the best results. With that said, you could totally still use this like on the street because you could still have people like 
in many different areas around you, just don't let them see what you're writing. How difficult is Bear Mini to use? It's not difficult to use at all, as long as you are confident with shaking your spectator's hand basically to stamp them, then you are pretty much good to go. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is be able to write. And as long as you can write, then you can do this effect. And as long as you can shake a hand, then you can do this effect if you want to stamp your spectators. Is there any DIY do-it-yourself work that you have to do? Any arts and crafts right out of the box? No, out of the box, this thing is ready to go. You can perform it right away if you know how to use the gimmick. Now, the, and the setup per performance is just making sure your little canister is filled with whatever powder you're gonna be using, like whether it's like sugar, salt, pepper, whatever you're gonna be using, make sure your canister is filled up and then you're pretty much ready to go because the setup is actually gonna happen during the performance when you're creating the stamp in real time and then stamping your spectators. Are there any negatives to performing bare? I mean, really the only negative that I see is that I just wish I would have had an updated tutorial. It's not too much of a big deal. I don't mind that they use the old tutorial. Just would like to see a few more handlings added on and just something different that you can do with this bare mini that you couldn't do with the original one, which I know the canister, that was a great thing to add, but just like just some more ideas about Bear Mini, I just would have loved to see and maybe an updated tutorial. Are there any positives to performing Bear Mini? Yes, the fact that you can create a stamp and stamp your spectators in real time, that is amazing. Another thing is that the canister they include with this is awesome because who wants to carry around like a can of or a, a salt or pepper shaker? Like nobody wants to do that. So now that you have this canister to carry around, that's a major positive. Another positive is that this actually is going to be happening in the spectator's hands. Like you can actually sprinkle the stuff on the back of their hand and that's where the magic is going to be happening, which I think magic in the spectator's hands is awesome awesome, so that's a positive. My final positive for this effect is that it actually comes with the same amount of ink as the bigger Sharpie, the regular size Sharpie. Apparently they put the same amount of ink in this mini one, which is really cool because you're not losing any ink by getting a smaller Sharpie, which I really did appreciate. What should this retail as? So this currently retails as 25 US dollars and if we're being honest, I think that price is fair. I think that's a great price to pay for this. Now, if you're paying $25 for this, then you're getting a great deal because the original Bear Sharpie is $35 and this one comes with a little canister and the same amount of ink as according to the trailer, which is awesome. So I totally think that $25 is a great price to pay for this. What would I give this out of 10? I would totally give this a 10 out of 10 because this now comes with a little canister. The It comes with the same amount of ink and a smaller Sharpie. It's on your keychain, portable. It's awesome. I think this is an improvement from the original bear and I think that this is just awesome. So yeah, a 10 out of 10 from me. Should you pick this up? Yes, you should totally pick this up. If you like the original bear, then you're definitely gonna love this. You're definitely gonna be using this. And if you like mentalism or prediction effects where you can like reveal something, especially on the spectators, if you like magic that happens in the spectator's hands, then you will like this as well. That about does it for this video. I hope I was able to help you make a more informed decision about whether or not you want to purchase Bear. If you would like to link me down below in the description. And hey, also in the description is linked to my Instagram page. There you can follow me on Instagram at Tower Lancer Magic. There I post some like really cool sneak peeks about things I'm reviewing. You can also reach out to me for questions or I post tricks that I've actually reviewed. I post performances on my Instagram. So definitely go check that out. And I'm doing a little bit of a giveaway. So if you follow me on Instagram and I reach 300 followers on Instagram by the end of 2019 and I reach a thousand subscribers by the end of 2019 on YouTube, then I'll be doing a giveaway. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'd like to thank Mystique Factor for sending me this product so I can do the review for you beautiful people. Remember to use code Tyler10 at checkout to save 10% off of your first order with Mystique Factory. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you for spending some of your time with me today. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. See ya.